My name is Brandon Bell. I'm a junior studying finance. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. So I've always kind of knew that I wanted to get into like the food space. Uh, my aunt, she had a coffee shop that was like the epicenter of interaction in the small town in Ohio. So since I was a young kid, I kind of wanted to have like that community involvement to like create a place where people could go and come together and enjoy good times. Um, so I knew I wanted to do something like that. So coming to college, obviously opening up a brick and mortar would be kind of out of the picture. So I tried to start as lean as possible and I was like, I want to open up a food truck. And the idea for waffling came from uh, my sisters were uh, making, uh, they are putting cinnamon rolls into a waffle iron and making them. And it was super fun and super cool. So I just started Googling a bunch of waffle recipes. And I came across like all these variations of waffles, Brussels, Belgian Lage. Uh, and I really took a liking towards Belgian Liège and I tried a bunch of recipes, kind of found one that was uh, really good, tweaked it a little bit and uh, been making them for friends, kind of trying new toppings, what's good, what's fun, what's bad. And uh, yeah, that's, that's where I got the idea for waffling. Uh, yeah, freshman year, I went over to a good friend, Joe Putnam's, a um, bunch of guys, we all were watching Lord of the Rings and I just made a bunch of like the waffles. And uh, one of my friends, Nate, he said, uh, you ruined waffles for me like in a good way. So then I knew, I was like, okay, I might be onto something. So pretty much since freshman year, just been cranking out a bunch of like waffles and I uh, finally kind of saved up enough money, got like the menu uh, recipe, like perfect what I wanted and kind of scaled it from there. I kind of found just like an old trailer on uh, Craigslist. Um, there's, you know, it was in pretty decent shape. It's a 1958 camper trailer, so you can imagine there was a lot of work to do, but yeah, I kind of found it on Craigslist uh, on a whim, you know, just called, uh, gave him my name and number, went out, looked at it, ended up buying it like the next day. Um, and then over the summer, I kind of created like what I wanted to, you know, I had to do some like repairs on it. I painted it myself. Um, you had to do some like electrical work. So uh, I have a civil engineering background with the Air Force, so some of that stuff came in handy, but uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to start lean, like I said. I can't afford to buy like a super nice uh, food truck, but I love this one so much because it's vintage, it's authentic, uh, you know, and that's kind of where I'm at, you know, it's just like a raw, you know, start. So I think it kind of expresses like where Waffle's coming from. So yeah. Yeah, it, it's been good. It's been a huge learning experience. Uh, being a full time student and running a business is, uh, you think you're going to be busy, like multiply that by like 10 and then that's like kind of what it's like. But you, I got in kind of creative with this time management and, uh, you know, really scheduling my food truck um, hours totally separate from my school hours. I do that by, uh, you know, taking early classes and then I do my food truck uh, Wednesday through Saturday, uh, maybe Wednesday through Sunday, depending on my schedule. Um, for anywhere from 4 to 8 p.m., from 5 to 10 p.m., just after hours in the evening. But it's been good, it's been fun. Uh, got to meet a whole bunch of people. I've done interesting catering events for fraternities. I'm doing one for a sorority. I've also uh, catered like a, um, a web development company. So you just get to meet like totally different people and that's what I love. So it's been fun, a uh, whole lot to learn though. It's been tough. Um, I think you get better as you go on. Um, you know, the first like week you're open, you're kind of like learning everything brand new it's like okay i gotta have this amount of flour like ordered here ready to go i gotta have like this amount of sugar um oh my gosh we gotta do this uh did you bring like the uh, did you bring like the swipe for the square like just all these crazy things and after doing it for like a week you're like okay we need to have this stuff in the truck already we need to have this stuff pre-ordered so the operations just get smoother and smoother as you go on so um, I'm just kind of convinced the longer, you know, we keep going, the smoother it's going to get, hopefully. There's going to be a bunch more bumps in the road, but yeah, it's been, it's been tough, but it's been manageable and, uh, you know, long way to go still. I want to create a place where people can come dream, they could come eat amazing food. Um, so I, ultimately I'd want a brick and mortar, but yeah, definitely in my plans for the future. So. It's kind of this raw and like fun and, uh, came from love, you know, just like my sisters, just experimenting and this, uh, you know, me finding like recipes and like trying it out with friends. So like, I guess I'd say, you know, I guess really with anything, you know, just kind of go where, uh, I don't know, something that's just, it, it's, you're passionate about it. I mean, I would say like, just, just go for it. And you might like find your way. It might be something totally different. Like I said, like, from my like aunt and uncle's coffee shop in Ohio. Like I knew I wanted to do something like that. I had no idea what it was gonna be, but 
I had that in the back of my mind when I was going through school and doing things and you know you kind of find you find your way to something so yeah